We better call in for an ambulance! Uh, I... I swear I didn't mean to... It's an accident. Uh. And so it all begins. This boy's name is Yusuke. He's 14 years old and is supposed to be the hero of this story. But oddly enough, He's dead. What? Okay, this is weird. Stupid weird. Huh? All right, people, clear a path. Right. Here's one. Besides a few scratches, this boy looks just fine. <laughs> well, at least one of them is. Hey! Uh, uh, I hate cleanup. Mm -hmm. uh, hey! I'm right here! Cover this guy up and take the little boy. Whoa! You think you can do just whatever you want because you've got that stupid uniform on? You can't just write me off! Listen to me! <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh. That wasn't normal. Okay, Yusuke, just think. It's not like this is the first time you've been in a jam. Today did start off different. I went to school. Yusuke Yurameshi, report to Mr. Takanaka's office immediately. Yurameshi? Hey, nice skirt. All the girls have to wear these. Yeah. Just like all the boys have to wear blue jumpsuits, which Ow. I notice you're not. Oh, give me a break, Keiko. I look better in green. Maybe I'd be more tolerant, Yusuke, if I could see you in school more than once every ten days. <sighs> you give our class a horrible attendance average, which gets me in trouble as a class representative, and plus you won't even be able to graduate middle school. Sometimes I think you don't care about anyone but yourself, and then you don't even do that right. You hear me? <laughs> nice oh. uniform. It's lacy. Huh? You okay? You perv! People like you should be strung up in the street! <laughs> Dumb boy! Hasn't grown up a bit since he was four years old! Here you go? Is he gone? Why are you ducking around the corner? Be... Because we're scared of the great Urameshi. I don't see how you can actually talk to him. Aren't you just terrified of what he might do to you? Or even worse, what people might say of it? Not really. He just wants you to think that he's dangerous. On the inside, he's more like a lamb. Yeah, but you haven't heard the latest news about him, Keiko. He's super tough, and he kills for fun! Yeah, and if you cross him, he'll whistle for 2,000 bad guys with guns! Come on, Yusuke doesn't even know how to whistle. What? Besides, Yusuke couldn't order around two people, let alone two thousand. He doesn't have many friends. Not what I heard. Yeah, I think we would know. <sighs> Yurameshi, I know that you're here today. Come to my office immediately. Damn it, when is that old man ever gonna give up? No way, man. You mean he just gave you his wallet? Mm. That's fresh. You bet it is. He tried to pick on me, so I told him I was Yurameshi's cousin. He just dropped it and ran. Well, what are you gonna do if your Ameshi finds out you said that cousin stuff? He'll kill you! He'll spare me. 
<laughs> that blockhead will probably think it's true. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? <laughs> I swear I didn't mean it. Here, take it. <laughs> you think I want your stupid money? Huh? Yusuke, put down fist. It's Iwamoto. You boys are safe from him now. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. We're fine. I see. Yusuke was beating you two up for your wallets. Typical scum behavior. Whatever. No good weeds like you should have been plucked a long time ago. You don't belong here. You shouldn't talk. It makes you sound stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, somebody's dead! Uh, sorry, old man. That's Mr. Takanaka to you. I've been calling for you all morning on the loudspeaker. Didn't hear it. Guess it mustn't be so loud after all, huh? I couldn't <laughs> help but notice you were leaving us. Yeah? I got kicked out! <laughs> Is that a fact, my good man? I wonder why. Perhaps we should discuss it in my office, then. We'll have tea. Hmm? I... <laughs> it's just a toy, old man. Thanks for the visit. Now leave me alone! Yusuke, we can talk! It figures that the one day I feel like going to school, everyone wants to push on me and give me their stupid lectures. I hate that school. I hate this town! Oh, great. Mother of the year. Get me coffee. Can't believe she's doing that. Why aren't you in school? I left because they pissed me off. Well, if you're never going to go there, you might as well quit and get yourself a job. Are you going to give me a lecture too, Mom? While you're in your pajamas? Dear, if you hate preaching so much, you should live on your own. <laughs> if you can't do that, can you? <sighs> I swear could this day possibly get any stupider! Oh. You're a meshi! Hey Kuwabara, you're conscious. I'm not used to that. Ugh, that was a cheap shot last time and I was only knocked out for a little bit, okay? Now I'm back and I'm gonna beat your face up so bad even kittens won't look at you. Hmm. So sorry you caught me on such a bad day. It makes me a real jerk. You win! Don't hurt us! Ah, I feel better. Kuwabara, maybe you should stop picking so many fights with Urameshi, huh? That makes zero wins and 156 losses. No! I almost had him that time. <laughs> okay, now I'm remembering. After that, I met the kid. May I have my ball, please? Listen, kid, that's dangerous! There are cars going by that will splatter you into the pavement! <laughs> yeah, monster! <laughs> <laughs> well, if all else fails, I can still make kids happy. All right. Now go ahead and get lost. It's not safe playing ball around here, you understand? Damn it, what's the use? The kid can get smashed by a car for all I care.
Whoa, watch out, kid! Don't go into the road! Huh? Hi! <laughs> <laughs> So that's it? I'm roadkill? But if that was me down there... Hmm. Then who am I up here, I wonder? Could it mean... I've turned into a ghost? Bingo! Bingo! You huh? win the prize! I didn't expect you to figure it out so quickly! Who the hell are you? When people die unexpectedly like you just did, often they can't accept it and become ghosts, you see? You're not answering my question! Photon's my name, the pilot of the River Styx. I take care of people like you. <laughs> I believe in your culture, they also call me the Grim Reaper. Ring a bell? A pretty girl like you? Please, you're no Grim Reaper. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if I should take that as a compliment or an insult. Plus, if you were a real messenger of death, you'd take this more seriously. Like, how grim can you be when you say bingo? Uh, You're supposed to wear a big black robe and look like a skeleton! Now I understand what kind of person you are. It's in my guidebook. Rather than be scared or surprised, you yell a lot and tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Yusuke Yurameshi, age 14, personality is impulsive and <clears throat> ill-mannered with a violent temper. He has no respect for authority and is a horrible <clears throat> student. Things weren't looking up for you, were they? <laughs> That's none of your business! <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, Death Lady. Can you tell me what happened to that kid I saved? Like, is he injured or what? You want to go visit him? Well, we've got the test results in. He's got a few scrapes, but no signs of broken bones or brain damage whatsoever. Oh, thank goodness. Look at that. He's really okay. All right, Botan. I've got no regrets, so you can take me to hell or wherever it is I'm going. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Maybe you should have let me talk earlier. I'm not here to take you away from this world. Actually, I'm here to see if you'll accept an ordeal that could give you your life back. An ordeal? Really? Mm-hmm. What in the world are you blabbering about? It's funny, Yusuke. None of us were expecting you to die today. You've thrown us off for a loop. Run someone with your credentials through that scenario a thousand times and they never would have saved a kid like that. No one saw it coming and quite frankly we haven't prepared a place for you yet. Oh, give me a freaking break! Are you telling me you guys were expecting that little boy to die? Well, I wasn't going to tell you this because I knew it would make you even more irritable, but without the confusion caused by you running into the street, that boy would have actually missed the car and escaped with one less scrape on his right shoulder. What? But he was headed right for him. Yes. Well, the driver would have veered to the left. In other words, your death was a complete and utter waste. <laughs> Surprised? Yes, I can hardly blame you for that. <laughs> Cool your jet, silly head. I told you you can get a second chance, don't you remember? Just go through this little easy ordeal and you can be back to life in no time. You should feel special. Unexpected cases such as this only happen once every hundred years. You're just like the teachers in my school. No idea what's actually going on. What's that supposed to mean? I know exactly what's happening and I'm saying you can fix it if you follow a few steps. Come on, it's a pretty good deal, don't you think? Maybe, but no thanks. Oh. I think I like being a ghost. You said yourself my life was kind of pathetic, right? Hmm. Everyone's gonna be much happier now that I'm erased. The teachers will be able to rest their big mouths, plus my mom will be able to party whenever she wants and not have to worry about where I'm at, huh? I'm sorry you feel that way at such an early age. Yeah, well, you've got to agree there's no point in me doing some stupid ordeal. I don't guess there's any point in making big decisions in a hurry. Why don't you spend some time at your wake and think it over? I'll come back when you decide. You got worms in your ears, lady? 
I did decide! Whoa, all my classmates are here. Just like I thought. Look at them laughing. They probably just came over here because they're getting extra credit. Keiko, please. Is she making all that racket for me? Come on, let's go back. This isn't right. Shut up, let go of me, would ya? What? Kuwabara? Damn you! You think you can just back out because you're scared? Kuwabara, this place is for mourning. Oh, I'm not gonna leave! Not until he comes out of here and lets me fight him! He can't do that! I'm gonna beat you down, you punk! You hear me? Who do you think you are, huh? Dirty punk! Who am I gonna fight now? Who am I gonna fight? He's gone! No! You're supposed to be here! For me! Come on, Kuwabara. Let's go. Sorry about all that. No! No! Who would have guessed? Did you see those scums? They're just some losers that Yorameshi hung out with. Too bad that car wasn't big enough for them, too. Now, now. We should be glad. After a life of being worthless, you skated something to give our school a good reputation. Well, between you and me, Mr. Iwamoto, I'd say he probably saved that little kid on accident while he was trying to knock him down and steal all his lunch money. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised by that, Mr. Akashi. Ah, even at my own wake, they knocked me. If I could only... Uh -huh. uh, what? Uh, what do you suppose is more disgraceful, that boy shouting in misery or your insensitive and idiotic words? At first, I was so surprised, Yusuke, to hear you'd saved a kid at the cost of your own life. You've always acted much more selfishly than that. Darn. Yusuke, I don't know why I don't feel like speaking well of you. Why didn't you stay? You could have made something great out of yourself. Now you should say something to honor him. Thank you for saving me and making faces. people were crying like that. It was probably because they wanted to play with them too. Oh. Well, have you decided? Otan, hey. Yes, dear? Have you ever not known about something that seemed obvious to everybody else? That happens to us all, I think. So, are you ready now? Yeah, I am. Good to hear. Now, let's not waste any time and get this game started. <laughs> hey! Where are you gonna take us? <laughs> to the spirit world. To the what? The spirit world. 
We're going to see someone who will explain the ordeal to you and give you what you need. What? What do I need? <laughs> You'll see. Hey! And that's the way it is. After his first day of being dead, Yusuke has agreed to undergo a mysterious ordeal that could win back his life. But what adventures await him in the spirit world?